thighs, to the lower leg, to the feet. Uh, just say hello to the body. Um, you want to have a nice little welcome. Um, and you might put on um, just a little product. I, I'm sorry, but my hands are a little cold. Okay. All right. Get the there we go. Um, they, and remember with the cups, you always want to use oil. You see her shoulder is pulled forward a little bit. Um, and so I would then perhaps ask her if she could tuck her left shoulder there under a bit. So her shoulder is positioned a little more. And then again, you still want to tuck so everybody stays modest. Um, one thing that's really nice to do in this position are some pin and stretch moves. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do that without the cups, but you can do that with the lats. Uh, down here, you can do it with the serratus muscles. Is that OK? Mm -hmm. OK. <laughs> You want to check and kind of see how, how does the shoulder move to start with. What's really nice to do, especially if you have a client that has some real range of motion issues, is to have them, for instance, lift their arm to the maximum amount prior to starting your treatment uh, and then have them make the same motions after the treatment to see if there's a difference. Typically there will be and of course you can lift that. So. And how's the pressure for you? It's okay. Okay. Okay, what, what I like to do um, normally when I start this, of course I usually don't have to walk across to <laughs> get my material, but I do start with just some running cupping. And how is this pressure for you? I'm going to be like more. Do you again a little more? And especially for those of you who missed last week, uh, you might not have noticed Jill got that cup from a little suitcase warmer. And the warmth is not necessary for the cupping action, but it just feels really nice um, You can uh, to warm your cups. It does make uh, quite a difference on how it feels. Um, it's a little more intense down there, isn't it? Yeah. You have to use enough oil, but not too much. Um, and sometimes, depending on the type of oil you're using, it can be too much. You don't want people to feel grease, like right now on her shoulder, you can see the grease, you don't want to do that. <laughs> That's not good. You can twist the cup. Remember, you're still lifting 
bring it up and down the spine. It feels fantastic. Notice how her other hand is supporting the tissue. That helps. Anchoring is really makes it a lot more comfortable uh, when you do anchor and stretch the skin, as Zephyr just said. Yeah, she's got some stuff going on here in the serratus anterior and in the lats. So, Art, this is a little sore for you. Mm -hmm. You can actually just pick up the lats, uh, depending on the person, and give them a good squeeze. Okay, with this, not feeling pinchy. <laughs> I barely can feel it. Oh, good. Well, good. Then I'll really dig. Don't be afraid to really get in there. For a lot of people, that's an area that's sore and they don't even know that it's sore. Just let, it's okay to let a cup rest somewhere and then use the cup that goes on the serratus as would you like more pressure? Is that good? That's fine. Okay. You can kind of use that as an anchor. Okay. Um, you want to also get cups around the pressure points. Um, and you, you do see me do this each time. Why do you think I'm doing that? Exactly. Just like a baby bottle. Right? <laughs> um, it's not going to be super hot unless you have an, an uncontrolled uh, type of heating pad, but with the case that I do use, it is temperature controlled, so it works out nicely. I can bring your arm up. And I'm going to check your pack. It's a little sore. Bring this arm up and just anchor that, please. We're checking out Peck Major and move that aside and just slowly look for Peck Minor. A little sore in there too. Yes, sir. Okay, go. So notice how Jill is combining massage and cupping and that the cups are continuing to work on those other areas while Jill is continuing to assess and warm up and move on with massage techniques. So this is a really great neuromuscular way to use the cup.
So, I mean, ideally, it would be great to have a cart like right here, so you don't have to, you know, walk across the room. And some people do use, you know, those little carts from IKEA or Michaels or, or something, the little rolling carts. Once these cups are on, just let your arm hang on my. So I'm going to shorten her pecs, hold the cups down, and give her a stretch. Just kind of give it a little rub after you do the pin and stretch. Uh, you might need to reapply the cup because it does loosen on occasion. And so we've got a nice stretch in here. Are you okay with this, Angie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really good. Another nice pin and stretch um, is using this larger cup that's on the lats and serratus. So actually I am pushing down towards her hip at the same time. I'm just giving her a stretch. Oh, and then sometimes they fall off. And if any of them get too intense, you well, tell me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And remember from last week that most people actually like the feeling of the cups to be rather intense. So mm -hmm. usually you need more suction than you think. So check in with them yeah, for and sure. practice applying more suction. I mean, of course, you don't want to get blisters, blister somebody's skin, but it does usually feel better with more. Oh, thank you. Gosh, I wish I could just say something and have every wish just fulfilled like that. Just, just have a crew right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you feel okay everywhere? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go all the way around the scapula with the cups. Whenever I get to this part, I always want to say, like, ooh la la, but I rarely do. <laughs> I don't know why I want to, I just do. Well, sometimes you lose cups, too, like I just lost that one. Well, we'll find it eventually. And 
don't want to forget the interest for me this. So, nice big one. And these are wonderful on trigger points. So, you know, as you're warming up the tissue, searching for those trigger points. And once uh, she does have all the cuts on, um, there is a series of movements. Uh, the first one that we'll have her do, um, I'm going to ask her to push into my hand um, and then take a deep breath. So can you please push into my hand, take a deep breath. And let it out and relax. And then just a little rocky jiggle. Uh, and again, jiggle. deep breath, let it out, and relax. Okay, so what did that movement activate? Moving forward like that, what? Uh, yes. And minor. Yes. So if you're activating this, what is relaxing? Um, would that be like the rhomboid? And the also? <laughs> the, the other uh, stuff in the back? <laughs> you, you got it, John. <laughs> um, next thing we'll have her do. Can um, I add one more, Joe? Yeah. And that protraction movement also activates serratus anterior. Right under there. Next, um, I will ask her to reach down to her feet and pretend she's picking up a concrete block. Okay, <laughs> really hard is what I mean. <laughs> so can you do that, please? Okay. So, like no, I just want you to reach with your. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take a deep breath. Relax. And one more time, pick up that concrete block and let that breath out and relax. Okay, good. That was a tough one. That block was heavy, wasn't it? <laughs> Last movement um, I will ask you to do is to push your shoulder back into my hands that are on the cuff. Okay, deep breath, and relax. That was really good. <laughs> and again, and relax that breath. Okay, so now that we've activated all the muscles in the rear, what's going to relax? Yeah, you, can really see it. Yeah. you got it. You got it. So, I mean, at this point, honestly, when I do an actual massage, I do one area. Um, you know, because you have the beginning of the massage, then the actual treatment. Then at this point, um, I would just do a little work, you know, on the back. Pretty loosey goosey though. <laughs> I think she's relaxed. I think this is working for you. <laughs> so at this point, so, so start to just release the cups. And you know, do some massage as you're releasing them. You want to help move some of those fluids towards uh, the areas, the concentration of lymph nodes. Which, do, do you guys do that yet? The lymph nodes. also easier to
to palpate deeper after the cups come off because you have relaxed those muscles. So I'm going to take a deep breath. So as Jill was saying, when you take those cups off and you can palpate deeper, uh, it releases a lot of layers. So oftentimes then you can massage out deeper adhesions and trigger points and kind of get to different layers of the pattern of what's going on. Yeah, so don't rush this part of the work. Uh, because also after the cups come off, it does feel really great to your client to just have that, that work done. And they usually come off quite easily, but notice how Jill is putting her fingernail or thumbnail under the edge of it. And you, you know, you may find that there's still, as uh, we've mentioned, some areas that you want to work on after the cups are off. And depending on what the issue is, um, that can certainly be accomplished. Notice how Jill is um, really supporting all the way around the shoulder. This is such a great position to really mobilize the scapula. So, you know, you're not just uh, opening up individual areas, but also increasing the range of motion with this work. So take the time for that stretching and movement, that pulling down on the shoulder and arm. much easier to get up right under the scapula after you do the cupping and see what you find under there again because it's so loose at this point just to kind of close things up with folks. Um, typically, you know, again, I like to give them a really good stretch. And if this were you know, an actual massage after completing this treatment, I would probably have her move to a supine position and just continue working on her neck and, and closing up the session. That one that Jill did usually feels amazing, so don't skimp on that one. No, don't, don't skimp on that one, because that one does feel great. I think you have a happy shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it.
they're going to take a little nap today. Because <laughs> she's feeling pretty sleepy today. <laughs> no, it's not really amazing. Oh, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. So, 